friends. Hey, friends. Hi, my babies. Look at how you mess up the place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, Dotty. Hi, my friends. Excuse me. You cleaning your brother? You cleaning your brother? Okay. It's almost that time. All right, I'm done playing with y'all. Hi, Goken. Hi, Goken. Are you cleaning her back? You're so sweet. You're such a sweet, sweet. Okay. All right, so I hope you all why is it saying i only got four minutes oh no i'm gonna have to delete stuff but i hope you all liked my unboxing of my new um tripod my sony tripod that i got from bnh shout out to bnh super quick shipping took i think two days not even i think it took a day because today's the 24th right it took a whole day um to get to get to my house and it was amazing i love fast shipping I love fast shipping. Okay, so you know it is gonna be on. I'm gonna be out here with the vlogs. I hope you like the vlogs because they're gonna be me doing basic everyday stuff. But if you wanna follow me and watch me do regular things, then hopefully, you know, it's fun for you. Uh, my room definitely needs organization. It looks crazy in here. Oh my God, don't judge me. Um, but I am on my way to the nail salon. I'm finally going to get a gel pedicure. I haven't gotten a pedicure in six months. Six months. It is crazy. And my nails grow on my hands, my feet. They grow really fast. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's time to cut my, my toenails. I'm sorry, it sounds so bad, but like today's a self-care day. I'm gonna be finally going to a nail salon. I found a nail salon around my house. So I'm gonna go there. It's snowing outside, but it's not snowing too heavy. So I'm gonna go dig my car out and then get to the nail salon. I have about 30, 40 minutes to get there. And I was, you know, I was hoping that it would come in white. So I'm so glad it came in white because I just it for me it just wouldn't look good with the black. Uh, I think the white is absolutely perfect. It just, it's great. And if you like my t-shirt, excuse me, my sweatshirt, it says black girl with boundaries. Boundaries, okay? They don't, they they love you until you have boundaries. And then you're the enemy. But guess what? You have to take care of yourself. It is a self-care day. I'm going to take care of my feet because my feet have brought me everywhere okay my feet have brought me everywhere been working hard for all these years i'm gonna go take care of them um and then i'm gonna come home and organize and then we're gonna do hardcore hard focus hyper focus studying uh, for the day I don't know who told me to wear vans outside, but here we are. It's not that cold. It's um 23 outside. It's 23 degrees. My car says 21. But it's 23 degrees outside. 23 degrees outside. And it's still snowing, but it's like very light. Anyway. It's 1230 on dot. I'm gonna run to Chase and get cash. I'd rather like pay them in cash because they only take tip and cash anyway. So I just like get all cash for the pedicure and then head to the nail salon. So 
All right, so thanks for, like, I feel so empowered with this, like, handheld tripod. It just feels good. Like, I normally use, like, my Joby tripod, but it's too big to be holding for vlogging. Like, it's still great. I use it very often, but, yeah, this is so much better to vlog. Isn't this super cute? Can you see the houses? Oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? I just wanted to show you. It's really cute. I like the colors. Okay, so we made it, um, and we're actually 15 minutes early, so that's great. I'm gonna go in, but I just wanted to show you the nail salon. It is Fresh Nail Lounge. It's a house that was converted into, let me try to focus, yeah. It was converted into a nail salon, so, I mean, it got good reviews, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna get our spa pedicure, okay? All right, let's go. But, all right, let's hope everything goes well. Fresh nail lounge and spa, watch the stairs. And I ring the doorbell. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, pedicure? Yes. I'll have you wash your hands. Okay. Wait. Oh, do this way. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it's um, magic soap. Okay. Ooh, cookies. All right. Uh, no. But, um, what are the different, I know there were, like, different types of gel pedicures that were listed. Can I see what those were? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so this is the list for pedicures. And... Sure, thank you. So I already chose my color. It's gonna be just, like, a nice pale pink. It's a gel. Just keeping it simple for the toes. Um, but here is Fresh Nail Lounge and Spa. And for the scrubs, if I choose to do a scrub, then I get to choose my flavors of the scrub. So we got, let me put this on the chair. So we have Chocolate Mint Bliss, Gingerbread Latte, Warming Winter Citrus, Citrus Spice. Warm Cocoa. So I'm not really into sweet scents like that. So we'll probably do something not that. I like peppermint. Probably just do peppermint. Green Tea Lemon Zapper. Migraine Relief. But it's also for my feet. So you know what I'm saying? Alright. Actually, actually, I think I'll do peppermint and keep it simple. But I definitely would want to come and try to... Ooh. Alright, so I think I'm going to do the... Because it's a pedicure, right? So... Sea salt exfoliation. So I think I'll do the paraffin. I'm going to keep it simple. So I'll do the paraffin which is nail shaping, cuticle care, sea salt exfoliation, glycolic callus treatment, intense callus buffing, hot towels. Yeah, I just, it's self care day, okay? So I'm gonna be doing all of that. All right. Oh, and it's black owned, by the way. So, you know, you might wanna come on through and support a black business. Um, not just on Black History Month, but every month, every day. Um, but okay so I think I'm just gonna go with either peppermint or actually the green tea lemon zapper that seems like me it's like me and it has peppermint and lemon so we're gonna go with that for the scrub for my feet okay all right let's get into it let's get into it
Ashley has been here. She's been in this location, I believe, 10 plus years now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. I mean, I'm glad I found this place. Like, I, I've i been living here for almost four years. Oh, and wow. Like, I haven't. I normally would just go back down to the Bronx and get my nails done and stuff. Because I, like, I haven't found a place I like here. Oh, my gosh. That seems like a lot, though. It is. But I'm like, I'm going, like, it's not... I just go just for that, but I'm going to hang out with my friends and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. And then, so I'm like, all right, I'm already down here. Relax your food. Yeah, that's, I hear that. But yeah, it'd be nice to have a place that I can call home in terms of nails. Right. And then other folks. Oh, you never, you never had that. Okay, so. It's snowing. My nails are done. Oh god, I almost fell in a Who told me to wear vans today? Oh my gosh. Your dog is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have to scrape off my car again. Great. Ah, oh, crap. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna let my car warm up a little bit while I talk to y'all. Okay, so I'm back in my car. I'm not in the mood to scrape this car off, but I have to. Anyway, so I just want to tell y'all a little bit about my experience. Um, I definitely did like it. It's definitely a place to go when you have all day. Um, to kind of like spend on self-care. I was just hoping for like an hour, hour and a half, two hours tops. I actually have been there, I was th there in there for like almost three hours. So that was definitely not part of my plan. But it's not like I wasn't getting good service. I was definitely getting taken care of. I was getting my foot massages in. I was getting all the oils and all the hot towels. It was really, really nice. I absolutely recommend if you have a few hours for self-care, if you don't, then just get a regular pedicure. And then when you have time for self-care and you can really sit down and take the time, then I absolutely recommend doing like the other types of pedicures that which is the one I chose, which was like paraffin. And then there was like another level, which I'm assuming would have taken longer. So I'm glad that I didn't choose that one. Otherwise, um, I really liked it. And I highly recommend going to Fresh Lounge, Fresh Nail Lounge and Spa. Again, it's black owned. And not just because it's black owned, but that's a good part of it is black owned, support black owned businesses. Um, especially when they provide good services. I would say um, I'm definitely gonna try it again and see if I have another, you know, different type of experience. I liked it. Um, I like the services. I'm very particular. <laughs> if you know me, then you know I'm like 
like my nails have to be a certain way a certain shape a certain everything like I'm very particular when it comes to my hands and my feet because I'm only doing a pedicure my thing is I have really nice nail beds longer nail beds than a lot of people and so I always kind of feel like I should not like no one should ever mess up my nails like you have a, a long enough a large enough canvas to not mess up so that's definitely I'm very 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 particular so like when people mess up I get more than upset because it's like having a, a giant coloring book you should still you should be coloring in the lines does that make sense Makes sense so like I'm definitely coming back I highly recommend it um, I'll probably choose a different color and see if that makes a difference um, it was just like okay but again I'm very very particular I'm like really really everything has to be exactly how I want it perfect blah 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 so it wasn't perfect, but it was really good. So that's that. So again, I highly recommend 10 out of 10 for the services, the spa, the environment, the kindness. People are really, really nice there. So if you're in the Syracuse area, I will hi I highly recommend going there. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my feet when I get home and you let me know what you think. But again, my nails could look great to you and I will still have an issue with it because I'm just really, really, specific about things so don't mind me too much anyway i feel like i've been talking for way too long let me take the snow off my car and get myself home before it gets really crazy out here all right as you can see you can't even see out the window it's crazy out here it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy all right gotta go gotta go but um i'm gonna put fresh nail lounge and spa like their address and their phone number in the description box so you guys can um reach out to them make an appointment i definitely do recommend their services it's just a very vi it's a great vibe i'm gonna come back um i'll probably try a different type of pedicure and see how that works um but we'll see so and i'll bring you guys back i'll bring y'all with me on the next the next go around okay so i'm finally back home my nose is running because it's cold Woo! i'm finally back home and these are my feet. Shout out to the Bombas socks. Bam. Okay, I'm gonna show you my feet in a second. Let me take off the socks. I have to, I'm still in the midst of cleaning. But here are my toes. And I think it's a pretty decent job. Like, I like square toes, right? But it still gives a little rounded, which I am not a big fan of. I'll just say that. Like, my toes are still a little on the more round side and I like them square. Like I like square, okay? Otherwise, my toes are clean. I love that. Um, I also usually have like a lot of skin and stuff. And so I would have liked to see more like a Russian style pedicure. And one of these days that's on my bucket list when I go back to New York City to get a Russian style pedicure and get all the skin because 99% of the time that's usually a complaint when I don't do my toes for a while. And it's, it's pretty a pretty decent job. Like I said, if I didn't, if I hated it, if I just really was dissatisfied with the service, I wouldn't say I'm gonna go back. I would just be like, I'm never going back. That was it, they took my money, blah, blah, blah. But that's not the case. I'm gonna go back. They have this like thing called a Medipedi where there is gonna be a little bit more like intense, more in depth, I guess, like pedicure. Um, so I'm gonna definitely try that. And I think the owner is the one who does those pedicures. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna try that and see if there's a difference. That's that. I'm gonna try to force myself to eat food because again, groceries cost way too much money to be letting food spoil in the fridge, okay? So I'm going to try to get my groceries eaten even if i just do like a little pizza like something like that oh god all right just want to show you my rabbits before i go hi babies this is a kuma that's gambit that's goken Okay. 
Hello, y'all. Play with y'all later. See you. You guys want food? Yeah, see, that's the sound that they make. That's the sound I make when I'm gonna give them a snack. All right, let me show you. Let me see what I can get for them. Sound? Oh, God. They know that sound. That's the sound that I make when I'm gonna give them something to eat. Yambit, yambit. Of course, instead of, instead of, look, look at this. How you gonna steal from her? Yambit is the worst. He steals all the time. Anyway. Okay, so I'm finally eating. I'm finally gonna eat something, so. For my lunch, breakfast, possibly dinner, I'm gonna be having lobster ravioli that I, I'm pretty sure I got from Costco. And then I just added, I cut up some tomatoes and added tomatoes and then just added some veggies. And then I grated some pepper jack cheese. It's all melted and stuff now, but I grated the cheese. And so pepper jack on top of that. And then for a drink, I'm using this cup that I use dang there every day. I just added, you probably can't even see it, but I added raspberries and then I put fruit punch um, on top of the raspberries and ice. And then I'll just add water once I'm done with the fruit punch. And I just, I like an aesthetically pleasing drink. So I'm gonna enjoy my meal. And I mean, there's a new season of South Park. So I'm probably gonna watch that. Or I can just continue watching um, the Boondocks, but I'll probably try the South Park. All right, I'm gonna enjoy later. Okay, so here's the drink with water in it. So just raspberries and water. I just think it looks really good. And for the most part, I like to put fruits in my drinks anyway, so that when I'm done with the drinks, I can just add water and it's still very flavorful. All right. Back to South Park. Okay, so I'm now well digested and for dessert. Yay, I'm gonna have some Carvel. This is a Carvel cup. Um, they had a special at my local Carvel. Um, essentially you get one, you get a set of cups and you get another set for free if you purchased one set. Um, and each set has six cups. So you know I've got a lot of ice cream. Ew. But ice cream is my my kryptonite. <laughs> I really, really, really love ice cream. And normally I give it up for Lent, but I literally purchased this like after Lent and forgot. So I'm gonna give up cookies for Lent. I usually give up ice cream every year for Lent, but that's out the window now. So cookies, I'm gonna get, I guess I can do cookies and donuts. I'm gonna give that up for Lent. I'm not Catholic, but I always like do that tradition. So I'll, I'll give up cookies and donuts for Lent. I think I can totally do that. Um, but yeah, let me dig into, oh yeah. So good. This is worth it. Not having cookies and donuts for some ice cream, mm-hmm. I love it. Hey y'all, so I'm about to get ready for bed and I just took my socks off and I like almost had a conniption. I was like, oh my God, I forgot that my toes are done. Like, so like I have blue violet lights in my bedroom like when it's time to go to sleep and there's a pile of clothes right here, so don't judge me. But I mean, my toes look great. Still not super square, but you know, they look really good and I'm just so glad that I got them done. They just, they really needed to be cleaned. It's crazy. All right, good morning, y'all. I'm waking up really late and, and my dog is here. Um, I have a lot to do. I have a lot of organization to do and then I'm gonna just do a five hour hyper-focused study session. Um, what that is for me is I do an, I, I can focus for like up to 90 minutes straight without like having to move. Um, so I tend to do a 90 minute session and a 10 minute break, 
It's almost like a Pomodoro 90, 10, sometimes 20 if I get hungry. Um, and a lot of times I use that 10 minutes to do meditation um, and then get going and doing another 90 minute session. So it's like 90 minutes, 1.5 to 3 hours to 4.5. If you add those three 90 minutes up, then that's five hours, right? So that's usually like how I like to do things. Um, and I just wanted to know if you all ever really want me to do like a study with me session. I feel like people do that and it's really helpful to kind of like feel like you have someone else there and they have like, um, apps where you can like actually study with people like them just being present virtually. So if you guys, if you ever want to do like a study with me session, please let me know. Put in the comments down below. Um, because I would totally do that. Like just turn on my camera and we study together. All right. So let me just show you what I got to do. Here's my closet. And I'm just going to be folding everything on these rows. I'm going to be getting rid of these boxes. So this way I can put clothes up there because there's a pile of clothes on the floor and it needs to go up there. These two rows are just all hoodies. I'm just going to add hoodies all across because essentially I live in hoodies. So I just want this entire thing to just be hoodies. So it's like easy to grab and move. Um, and yeah, I think there's the sweatpants are in here. So it's like grab a hoodie, open up this and get sweatpants and then we have our entire outfit and then if we're wearing scrubs then we just have a bin of scrubs and then you know like lounge wear and stuff skims or like you know body suits and stuff skims basics um yeah so we're gonna get rid of most of the boxes up top and just put hoodies there so that's really about it for my day. This, getting some food, feeding the rabbits, obviously, and then um, studying because I really, really, really... And then organizing my calendar for the week. I usually just do everything on Sunday in terms of organi organizing my calendar. All right, so just an update on how things have been going. So this is a bag of garbage that I've collected from my closet. Just like things that... We're in containers, so I threw away the containers and just like paper and stuff that I was going through. And so this is what my closet looks like now. Things are folded and a little bit neater. And then we got the two new bins that I've just added stuff to. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can keep it looking like this, a little bit more organized. I still have a couple of things to fold and then you have this bag of it's a really big bag, it's really heavy. Um, it can't fit in my closet anymore. So it's kind of just gonna be on the outside. My bed is pretty much cleared. I just have to finish folding this stuff. I can get rid of that bowl and then that's pretty much it because I really need to get to my study time. Um, so this is my detergent. I love the Gain Moonlight Breeze um, scent. And so it's just, it. It's pretty much done and so I just added some water to the bottom of it so this way I could pour it out into my bottle and I'll just use the remainder use what's in here for like one more wash and then you know I, I went and got new detergent I got the tide clear detergent and then I got some uh, detergent Wegmans detergent that's also like the free and clear type of vibe so I'm good for detergent for the next few months. Anyway. Okay, we're in my bathroom and I'm just going over the stuff that I bought at Target. So it was, this is like my dryer sheets and the Carmex. If you know me, you know I need Carmex all the time, every time. That's what I use like on a daily basis. And then I did get some like light pads because um, TMI, but like I hate like using um, liners because nowadays the liners don't come with wings and I need, if I'm going to wear a liner, I need wings. I just, I just do. Like without wings, your liner ends up being 
know where it's supposed to be. Let's just say that. All right, so anyway, um, so for the rest of the bag, I just went to the travel size aisle. I absolutely love the travel size aisle in Target. Um, I'm not gonna hold you, it snuck up on me. <laughs> because you you see travel size and like you'll see like let's say for example the gold bond this i love this is like it's one ounce um and so it can fit in like your clutches and stuff like that but it's just really a good product and it really keeps the hands nice and moisturized and like this would be 190 let's say this is 99 cents i think it is 99 cents but then you go and you pick this up and then this is like three dollars and then you end up picking up so many and i'm not gonna tell you how much this entire bag cost but it was more than you would like to think so yeah that travel size i'll be getting me you know put in the comments down below if you end up getting swindled the same way i do yeah let's set up time to talk this week i don't i again i don't even know what my schedule is like um my schedule is crazy though because like I think I work seven to six every single day this week um so it's gonna be a long day but like we should definitely schedule even like a 45 minute discussion yeah um the thing about it is like my evenings are so crazy too because like as soon as I get home one I'm tired but I still gotta study <laughs> two I need to eat but I still got to study. So then it's like, yeah, we got to schedule like a, a, at least like a, you know, not 40, like a 30 minute session from beginning to end 30 minutes. And then, you know, we'll do, we'll try to do this weekend meeting next Sunday, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Like I'm, I'm not going to be stressed out about it. Yeah, I agree. I'm not. I take care of my house and then get to studying. So <sighs> thank you for calling me. Reach now. I love you. All right, have a great week, and I'll text you, okay? All right, bye. So here I'm just showing you the first of my 9010 study session, and I'm just doing my UWorld questions while I have Lo-Fi Girl on YouTube in the background, just keeping me company, and um, yeah, just learning from questions. And then the last session, I do either Anki or I read my step two book. When times are tough or things aren't going as we'd like them to, gratitude is an amazing antidote. When we can remember what we have, what brings us joy, satisfaction, a feeling of safety or wholeness, we can create healthy balance in our lives. We'll use this meditation as a reminder that we are surrounded by people, places, and things to be grateful for daily if we take the time to look. So that's how we'll break it down person, a place, and a thing. 